Avijangu Mheshimiwa William Samoe Ruto Waombolezaji wote ambao wamefika siku ya leo Mwega Mwega ringi Tumekuja kwa hafla muhimu zaidi hafla ya kuzindikiza mama wetu maitu mukami kimadi ndio sababu nimekuja kabla sijaendelea mbele nataka nitamulia wale ambao nimekuja nao hapa niko hapa na bwana Jeremiah Kioni secretary general ya Jubli party Niko vile vile aliyekuwa gavana wa Moranga bwana uh, Mungu wa Iria kundi lingine Niko vile vile hapa sio mzee Gidu Kaengeri alitumetambuliwa Gidu Kaengeri ambaye ndiye ni mwenyekiti wa veterans wa mao mao vile vile tuko hapa na kijana wa kutoka hapa anaitwa Maina Njenga. Sasa siku ya leo ni siku muhimu sana. Nataka kutoa shukurani kwa serikali kwa kutamua mama na kusema hii hafla itakuwa hafla ya kitaifa lakini nataka kuwakosoa bwana gachagwa alisema at is uh, a national funeral lakini bendera haikuwekwa nusu mlingoti the matter the flag that is blown at half past it is a national funeral pili mama huyu alikuwa anawasia alisema angependa siku ambayo naziko hapa ili mzoga ya, ya mili ya bwana yake itolewe kule kamiti prison iletwe hapa izike pamoja na yeye hapo kandi yake hiyo ni wish yake ambayo ingawaje ijafanyika hapa mimi nataka kuambia waangalie hiyo maneno ifanyike na leta risala ya rambi rambi ya rais aliyestafu uhuru migai kinyata ya kalonzo musioka mama mata karua wote mleta risala ya rambi rambi huyu mama ni rafiki yangu ukiona katika hiyo kitabu mko naye hapa utaona picha hii ambayo tumepiga na yeye moja yao hiyo picha ilipigwa katika boma hii ni kwa boma hii sio mara moja hivi ni niko hapa anajua mambo haya yote vile vile tumekuwa naye mpaka kule pale ambaye kimathi alishikwa pale alipewa risasi tumeenda naye pale ambao jamaa wanasema nataka hiyo museum pamoja na yeye nilipoenda kumuona yeye mwaka jana alikuwa naogoa kule korokocho akaniambia mimi yeye amechoka kuishi katika nyumba ya kukodisha. Nikamwambia tutatafuta yeye nyumba. Na tukatafuta nyumba ya National Housing Corporation kule at River. Ni nilinunua yeye nyumba. Kule. Tulijuana na yeye miaka 28 iliyopita. Alikuja kwa ofisi yangu akaja na mjukuu wake ambaye ndiye anaitwa Didan Kimathi Junior akaleta huyo kijana yana alikuwa anataka kwenda kusoma huko India na mimi nikamsaidia kijana akaenda India alipokuwa kule India alikuwa anandikia mimi barua mara kwa mara bila yeye anaendelea nikamwambia soma vizuri kabisa wewe ndio Didan Kimathi ambaye inakuja sasa akasema mpaka kafuzu lakini bahati mbaya alipomaliza 
ilikuwa inatarajia kuja hapa akapata ajali huko atialishika stima akachomeka na stima na akafariki may the lord rest his soul in eternal peace sasa huyo mama yeye bila msemekana hapa alikuwa ni mpigania uhuru yeye mwenyewe yeye ni sababu yeye ni shujaa sasa sababu tunasema yeye tunamuita yeye hayati yeye alipigania uhuru yeye ni field marshal field marshal mkamu wa kimathi yeye mwenyewe alioleteswa kabisa na hawa beberu na mama wao walijitokeza wakaenda msituni kupigania uhuru na kulikuwa na sababu inajulikana uhuru wa nchi yetu ililetwa kwanza na juhudi ya mama wao kuna wengine ambao wako ni msituni ambao walipigana wengine katika vyama vya ufanyikazi wengine katika vyama vya siasa katika bunge na kadhalika juhudi hiyo yote ilileta uhuru katika taifa letu lakini pili mwingine amesema hapa mao mao ambao walipigana hawakupata riziki wale makaragosi ambao walikuwa na ramba matako ya mzungu wao wao ndio wakapata hata mashamba wale ambao walikuwa wanapigania home guards and loyalists ya mzungu sasa wakati mewadia ya kufungumbuka hao watu kwanza tulipokuwa kwa serikali na bwana Kibaki kukubaliana kwamba mao mao itolewe kwenye orodha ya ile vyama ambavyo naitwa terrorist organizations ndio sisi tukatambua mao mao kama a liberation movement wakati huo baadaye wakawa wao wana kati kupitia kwa chama chao kiongozi na mzee kitu wakaingeri huyo wako nataka ridhaa kutoka kwa serikali ya kimwingereza wakaajiri mawakili wakataka serikali ya uingereza katika mahakama kule uingereza for the compensation ya mama wao lakini sasa kesi ile kwa naendelea naendelea gharama iko juu wakaja kuongo mimi nikaenda kama waziri mkuu Uingereza nikaongea na waziri mkuu wakati ule David Cameron katika ofisi yake namba 10 Downing Street nikamweleza kwamba hao watu walipigania uhuru wengine waliteswa waliweka kwenye maditension na kadhalika wanataka ridhaa tukamshauri na yeye na yeye alikuwa ni mtumungwana akakubali. Tukakubaliana na out of court settlement kwa mama mambo ya mamao. Na serikali ingereza ikalipa shilingi billion mbili. Tena akakubali kujenga monument ya ukumbusho ya mamao. Hiyo monument walileta pesa wakajiri kandarasi na mimi mwenyewe nilienda pale uhuru uhuru park freedom corner tukajenga pale monument ya kukumbusha wakumbuka mao mao kwa sababu kwa msaada ya serikali ya Uingereza. Kile tunasema shukrani. Sasa huyu mama amefanya yake. Mao mao walienda katika msituni walikuwa na sababu. Kiko mambo ya vita iko mara mbili. There's two types of violence. Bwana Mandela, Nelson yes Mandela alipokuwa anashtakiwa kule mahakamani Afrika Kusini. Alipokuwa anajitetea katika mahakama ya Rivonia. Alisema, "Mimi sipendi mambo ya I detest violence. Because violence begets violence. There are two types of violence there is what you call oppressive violence that the violence which the system uses against the people and then there's 
or another type of violence that is called defensive violence. That is the violence which use, people use to defend themselves against oppression. The, when the police disperse innocent citizens who are demonstrating, that is called oppressive violence. When the people defend themselves by throwing stones, that is called defensive violence. The two are not the same. We have said our country, that this Mahabao used violence to defend our country. And in doing so, the country, our country attained independence. We must therefore create a lasting system that will ensure that we never get back again in a situation where people are going to be oppressed. We must create a society that is understanding as enemy. We must not look at each other as enemies. We must also deal with this issue of cult ethnicity or tribalism. When the Kenyans were fighting for independence, there was no, no tribalism. People were all united as one people. Mao Mao were detained in Hola, in Manyani, and several islands in Lake Victoria. There's an island of Lake Victoria called Oyamo Island at Mageta. Kinema Wauru Kanja Olifungwa Uku. Olakoda Tolewa, Spui when a letter, Kufanya Katuka Barabara, Jenny on a road to Uku. Lakini Sikungine, Ao Mao Mao, Manaka Lakona Tesla Namzungu Moja Hapo, and Lakona Eta Kamongo. When you pick a rope and a Kamogombaka of war. Sasa Sekali Kaleta Maskari, when a Tafuta Hawad Uku quit. Dagi Rikuja, a Lafona Sukuna Sema, Katika Radio, Ati Mkikuyu, Uberu, Namuembu, Nuatu Atari, Ukena Moja Kamkuja Karibu, Pira Hippotico Police Baramoja. Here is the project of the Biru. Lakini, while you pick a Huru, while you are being an Asia Comba, Wakikuni, Matuetu, while you say, Diva, Pakawaka Peter, Pakawaki, Uganda, or Kaenda. Wakati Kuna, Ubaguzi, Wakanya Water, while you are Pamoja, Kamaki to Kimoja. Jaramogi, Alienda, Katika Bunge, Akasema. Mr. Speaker, Jomo Kenyatta, and all those people and other true leaders of our country, and their continued detention by the colonial government offends the consciousness of our people. Wakati huo, wakiri wa Afrika bawa lekuwa wa bonge, wali mkanusha jaramogi. Those people were at that time, but were not elected to anybody. We are not the current leaders. Lakini Jeremogi alisimama imara. Wakanya wakaungana pamoja. Watu wa moranga wakasema, Jeremogi masema ukweli. Eldoret wakasema ukweli. Mbasa wakasema ukweli. Ndiyo kaanza mambu na etwa uhuru na kinyata. Mpaka uhuru ikapatikana. Uhuru wa Kenya ilikuja kwa sababu ya umoja ya wa Kenya. And we want Kenyans to continue to remain united. And Kenya, Kenyans will be united and must also speak truth to power. Wambia, truth to power. Upana tiswa, upana wagopa. Wagopa nini? Lakini wagopa. Kwa hivu sisi, Kama wadazimio, sima endazimu. Sisi sima endazimu. Tuweza tukuelewana. Tuweza tukuelewana. Sirio. Mwiyo bwana sene tanambia mimi ya tiye ya makuwa ya kile sava. Sisi ya niletuma ya kile sava. Udamari 